well this evening through Nepalese dance, music, culture and food. So I hope you enjoy. So to start the program, I would like to play our national anthem. So I want everybody to stand up on the table, on your, ch on your ground. So, and uh, we're going to play our national anthem. Thank you. Bondere <laughs> hai for your cooperation. Now, to start the program, I would like to invite our new president, Mr. Rosan Bogarty, to have his welcome speech. Please, Rosan Bogarty. Thank you. Hello, namaste, and thank you to Ajit Poyar. Namaste, good evening and welcome everyone. On this day, we have come together to welcome and celebrate a brand new year, 2070 BS. On the behalf of Nepalese community at UW, first I would like to extend warm wishes for another year of health, happiness, prosperity. Once again, Happy New Year. A friend of Nepal at University of Wyoming was established as a recognized students association on campus the spring 2007 with few grad and undergrad students. I truly feel humbled to be in the position of such great responsibility and honored at the same time to express my words of joy. Thank you. Today, we will be entertaining with you with cultural performance, songs, delicious Nepali cuisine, and dance party. I would like to thank all the volunteers, active members, and our advisor for your effort and support. I would also like to thank you, Lokna Tadikari and Binod Pokhrel and company. I would also like to express my sincere gratitude to all sponsors for funding this event and our guests for making this event a success. Now, I'm going to name the sponsor departments. National, international Students and Scholars, Department of Microbiology, Department of Geology and Geophysics, Department of Statistics, Department of Geography, Department of Ecosystem Science and Management, Department of Physics and Astronomy, Department of e Economics, Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering, Department of Marketing and Management, Multicultural Affairs, Division of Student Affairs, College of Education, Graduate Program of Hydrology and Water Resources, International Program, Department of Geology and Physiology, Department of Atmospheric Science, Department of Molecular Biology, Wyoming Reclamation and Restoration Center. Thank you. Now I would like to welcome our advisor, Peter, Dr. Peter Stahl, to our, on the stage and have a few words. So finally, welcome to the fun filled evening. Again, thank you all for joining us. I hope you will have a great evening. Thank you. Thank you very much.
Oh, it's great to be here this evening to celebrate Nepal and the new year. Thank you very much, friends of Nepal, for organizing this celebration. I am honored to be here. Would like to wish everyone a very happy new year, uh, especially all my friends from Nepal. I'd also like to thank all the sponsors uh, for their support of this event and organization. Um, I'm honored to be here. I'm honored to serve as the advisor for the Friends of Nepal. Uh, it's been a great organization to work with. I'd also like to thank the International Student uh, and the Scholars Office, especially International Programs and the University of Wyoming Administration for their support as well. Um, it's been another good year for the Friends of Nepal, all the students from Nepal at the University of Wyoming. Um, lots of good grades have been earned. Uh, a few maybe not so good grades, but that comes with the territory, I guess. Um, lots of success stories. Lots of good things have happened to the Friends of Nepal at the University of Wyoming this year. And I would like to congratulate all of you for those good grades and successes and all your hard work at the University of Wyoming. All right, I am really looking forward to some great entertainment this evening, um, some great dancing. I haven't seen you, Pendra, here. Is he not going to be dancing this year? Oh, well, I, hope, I know we'll have some great dancing without you, B. Okay. Anyway, I'm also looking to a great meal later on. Um, but before that, all the great entertainment that's coming, I'm really looking forward to it. I won't keep you too much from that program, but I was asked to say a few things about my visits to Nepal here this evening. Um, and I'm not going to be able to return to Nepal this year, so just thinking about my previous trips um, brought back really good memories. I thought about my first time flying into Kathmandu and how I had my face pressed up against the window looking out trying to see the mountains and the valley itself and the city from the air. Uh, I remember all the unique sights I saw in Kathmandu. I myself was born in New York City, have traveled to many cities around the world, but Kathmandu was the most unique, and I saw many things that I have never seen in other cities. Uh, the temples there were beautiful, uh, all the government buildings, Kathmandu Valley itself, but maybe most of all were all the beautiful and different people I saw all over the city, along with all the sights. Uh, I remember traveling to Chitawan and the tropical heat there and how different that was from my home in Laramie, Wyoming. And sometimes, like, when it was snowing the other day, I thought maybe some of that tropical heat in Wyoming might be nice once in a while. But uh, Also, I thought of the agricultural fields in the area around Rampur and the Institute for Agriculture and Animal Science and how productive and dark the soils were there and all the agriculture in that region. Um, I think about or thought and remembered all the beautiful sights in the mountains, the wonderful villages and again the beautiful people in the mountains and the incredible big mountains themselves sites that always remind me, or thoughts that always remind me of Nepal. But most of all, I think the most impressive thing about the beautiful country of Nepal, like most places, 
the beautiful people that I met there and that were so kind to me and that I learned so much from. And um, yeah, so that was probably the thing that stays with me most about Nepal are all the beautiful people that live there and that I've met both in Nepal and here in Laramie from Nepal. So with that, I will end my talk and get on with the entertainment this evening. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Peter Stolm, for your wonderful speech. Thanks for sharing about your experience, about your visit to Nepal. Now, I would like to call upon Ms. Jill Johnson, our international students and scholars, associate, to be on the stage and have her speech. And also, I would like to call upon Susma Didi to hand over a token of love from Friends of Nepal at Utah. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. So my name is Jill Johnson. I'm honored to be able to welcome you guys to this year's Nepali New Year celebration. If our Nepali community members were in their homes on this occasion, they would be able to celebrate with their loved ones and family members. But instead, today, here in Laramie, they have chosen to share this special holiday with all of us. You may have noticed that the Nepali calendar indicates that this is the year 2070. No, we haven't time traveled into the future. Instead, it is interesting to know that in Nepal they use a lunar calendar. Further, their calendar is nearly 57 years ahead of the Gregorian calendar, which we follow here. I think that's pretty interesting. And if you do admissions and you're trying to find out when somebody okay, graduated, it can be pretty confusing too. <laughs> um, today, the student community has arranged for many special performances for all of us. You will hear songs and poems, see dances, learn more about culture and fashion, and taste really great food. And I can, can, I can totally agree to that because these are the same people who catered my own wedding. So I'm very, very excited to have this food again tonight. Um, all will be presented by Nepalis living or studying here in Laramie. We are lucky to be able to share this wonderful event with our Nepali friends. They've all worked hard to make this day terrific and we appreciate their hard labors. In particular, I'd like to thank the 2013 FNUW members and welcome the new community, uh, committee members. The new members are President Roshan Bogati, Vice President Niru Pokharel, Secretary Sujan Dakal, Treasurer Rachna Giri, Events Coordinator Susma Giri, ASUW Rep Dru Druba Dakal, and then the committee members Ajit Pariyar and Urmila Agarwal. Now, let's get sit back and enjoy this show. Thanks so much. Thank you very much, Jill. So you see, had a very wonderful speech, and I hope you guys have some knowledge about our new different calendar, become somewhat different than regular calendar. Now, all our folks, now we have entertainment now. So to get started, I want to welcome my folk dance groups on the stage and they're gonna perform a typical Nepali dance, especially focused on it. Uh, we call Lahurada, which means an army guy. Although he's not dressed up like army, he's gonna have some performance. So please welcome Rachana, Susman, Lahurada, the main character, and Rosan Bogati. Thank you. 
my dance group. I hope you guys enjoyed as much as I did. Now, to move on our program, I would like to invite two of our most respected guys from Friends of Nepal at UW who has helped to make this program a success. Mr. Loknath Adhikari and Vinod Pokhrel to have their short presentation about Nepal. Thank you. misconceptions about Nepal so uh, we, uh, we hope that we try to uh, eliminate those misconceptions um, so um, here uh, we titled this uh, presentation as Nepal a brief um, introduction so when uh, when uh, when you talk about Nepal, the first thing many people um, ask me is how many times have you traveled um, Mount Everest? <laughs> and naturally mo most of the people think um, Nepal is all about mountains. So, um, in a way, um, that's partly true. Out of the um, 14 tallest mountains above 8,000 meters, uh, those, those are um, commonly called as the 8,000 meters, eight of them are in Nepal. But um, Okay, I just want to start with a brief introduction about Nepal. Where is it? Nepal is between the India and China. So, is that all? We can see from the, this map, we can see some white location. Those are called the Himalayas. So, part of the Himalayas, some of the mountains are in Nepal. If we go from northern part of Nepal to southern part, we reach, starting from 8,000 
848 meters, we can go all the way to 60 meter altitude. Within the distance, only 140 kilometers. Can you believe that? Within 140 kilometers, we starting from 60 meter on the southern part, we can go to 8,848 meters in the northern part. So other than that, we can see there are different landscapes starting from the northern part. And we can see some valleys in the lower elevation hills. And if you go to the southern part, where is really plain area and the tropical climate. Uh, just uh, um, because uh, there is a lot of variation in um, elevation, the climate in Nepal also varies a lot. From tropical, as Dr. Stahl uh, said before, uh, tropical uh, climate in the southern plains to alpine in the mountains. So as a result, we have a very diverse um, ethnic, uh, ethnicity, a lot of people, and I've, um, I've noticed here um, 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 well, one person uh, told me that who are you Nepalese actually? Some of you look like people from China, some of you look like uh, people from India, some of you look like uh, people from Middle East. Nepal is so different. And actually, to some extent, um, uh, because of our um, different climatic um, conditions, um, our, um, our Nep Nepalese ethnicity is very diverse. As shown here, uh, uh, th these are uh, people from different um, regions of Nepal. The one on the left is from the middle, um, middle um, hills. Uh, the one in the bottom one, they are from uh, middle valleys and mostly um, valleys and the plains. And uh, these are uh, the indigenous people of uh, the plains. So that means we are really raised in the ethnicity. <laughs> so that means there are different groups of the culture and the heritage. So we can see on this one, if we look at the top panels, those are from the high Himalayas region. If we look at the down bottom panels, figures, those are from the valleys and middle regions. So we can see diverse culture all over the country. And just like um, we're rich in cultures and traditions, we're also rich in gods. We have um, 33 million gods, so more gods than people actually. And you can see that so these are some of the um, common deities. Uh, as Dr. Stahl said before, if you go to Kashmir Valley, um, I think there are more temples and um, statues than houses. So, um, so these are um, some of the examples. And um, if you go about the so many gods, so that that means there should be so many temples. That's true. If you travel, at least within the Kathmandu Valley, you can see within a day thousands of temples and different types of gods. So we can, we can see some of the examples of the temples. Most of the temples, Hindus and the Buddhist temples, but those are common. There is no difference between the different temples, different religion and different culture. Not only the Hindu and the Buddhist are there, there are Christian, Muslim, Sikh and every people are there but they are living together with their respect to each other. One of the unique features of uh, identity of Nepal, uh, we can say that, is we have an actual goddess, a living goddess. Um, we call the living goddess Kumari. And you can see um, 
um, the image of Kumari, different images of Kumari, and Kumaris are actually worshipped. As you can see on the bottom panel here, a uh, lady is worshipping living goddess Kumari. So the main thing about Nepal, most of the people know about Nepal, is the Mount Everest and the birthplace of Buddha. So a lot of people who doesn't know about Nepal, but they know Mount Everest is in Nepal and the Buddha born in Nepal. So we can see there is one place that is the holy place that is called the Lumbini and birthplace of Buddha. So, because of all these differences in traditions and cultures and um, uh, topographic features, climates, there are different types of attractions. And just before we finish, uh, we'd like to welcome all of you to visit Nepal. Some of the attractions we have seen, uh, shown here in the high Himalayas, we have um, very um, exciting trekking, um, um, trekking routes, um, mountain flights, you can, so those of you who, don't, uh, who can't climb the mountains, don't worry, you can still sit in a plane and look at the mountains. So there are mountain flights, there's, for the more adventurous ones, you, we have white water rafting, um, uh, and uh, paragliding, and for the nature lovers in the south, we have jungle safari, really thick tropical forest, and for people who love watching birds, there are regions where, which are very um, um, well known for bird watching. Thank you very much for your attention. I hope you'll enjoy visiting Nepal someday. And thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you Loknath Adhikari and Vinod Bokhril for the wonderful speech. I hope you guys have a lot of information about Nepal that you never would have if you were somewhere else. And also, I think if you visit Nepal once, it's a request, I'm pretty sure you'll get to, you like to go there again and again. Besides information, I think you guys like, okay, what else we can do with this information? Here's a pretty good deal for you guys. If you really had this presentation by your, you know, if you're concentrated with this, I have a very surprise for you. If, this, if you want to know the surprise, I want to say, are, did you guys really go, did you, did you guys pay attention to the presentation? All right, then here's a chance for you. I'm going to ask a question about Nepal. If you answer the question, I'm going to give you one token of love, a gift from Prince of Nepal at Utah. So are you guys ready? Yes. All right. First question. Actually, I'm going to give questions in the interval. I have one question now. Okay. And also, yeah, before that, I want to request my friends to look for the okay. people who have raised their hands, all right? Okay. The first question is, what is the height of Mount Everest? It doesn't matter if you say meters or feet. I'm going to get it. All right. What is the answer? Awesome. Good. <laughs> you, uh, I would like you to come in the stage, please. And I want to request our president to hand him the gift. Give a round of applause him. Right. I think that was quite entertaining. Well, if you want to get some gifts, maybe you want to Google or something, because I have like some more questions ahead. All right, to start with the new performance, I want to call upon a new dance group. That's Tamang Solo Group. If you want to want to know what is this Tamang Solo Group.